The turtles are only at 45. Come on, man. Here's why I'm upset. It's because I'm pretty sure that's the only Ninja Turtles movie that's going to crack the top 50. First of all, this is a travesty at 45. This is top 20 for sure. Are you crazy? It is the story of four turtles brought to life via ooze and struggling every day to find the world's most perfect pizza. You put anchovies on this thing and you're in big trouble, okay? It is dudes being dudes being turtles. I grew up watching this movie over and over and over again. The OG one? Oh man! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was my jam as a kid. My mom really didn't like violence. I was not allowed to go see this movie in theaters at all, but I definitely watched a VHS of it somewhere at a friend's house while playing with their toys that I wasn't allowed to have. I had the toys. They were frequently found in the bathtub after the water drained at Casa de Ellis. So when the movie came out, I couldn't wait to go check that out. Let's go for it! I love this movie. It is the only Ninja Turtles movie that exists for me. There's something really special about seeing those characters come to life in the realest way possible on the big screen. I know CGI is really cool these days, but there's something about the puppets. There's something about looking at a human actor who's having a scene with a giant puppet. <laughs> it didn't take you out of the movie, which was really great, because you knew they were wearing these costumes and doing whatever, but you invested in them wearing these outfits and it didn't bother you. Those suits were functional, they looked real, they were fun, they, were, they had emotion to it. It, it really stands up. I, I love this movie. I think he's blushing. <laughs> I am not. I think he's actually turning red. <gasps> the movie really could have been an absolute train wreck, and I thought that the way that they did it, it worked. And this is a year after Tim Burton's Batman came out. So it was absolutely riding the wave of that film, but it worked. I love it. I, I think that it really captures the essence of all of the characters. It, it had a nice balance of kind of action and drama and teenage angst and the kind of humor that you come to expect from the Ninja Turtles. Excellent! It took everything that was true to what you loved about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the comic or the show or the figures, and it put it on screen. It was actually much more faithful to the comic book series than the cartoon ever was. And so I actually appreciated that. Where did they come up with this stuff? I particularly liked the whole storyline with, you know, Raphael having an attitude like he does. Well, maybe I'll just take my attitude and Why leave. Why don't you? I will. Good. Raphael was the brooding, sensitive, angry, grumpy guy. And he goes off to like pout and yell at the wind. And then the foot plan descends upon him. I remember Raphael became my favorite after that because he took on like 50 foot clan and got his ass handed to him, but I mean, hung in there. Raphael, God love him, he's dead in a bathtub for half the movie. I just have this vivid image of him being in a bathtub and I remember just like my heart breaking for this poor Ninja Turtle. It's kind of weird that the turtles, they're like, ah, oh, well, he got beat up pretty bad. We'll get a hose, we'll spray some water on him a couple times a day, he'll be fine. He's a turtle. He'll be okay. I think my favorite part of Ninja Turtles has got to be Casey Jones with the hockey stick and the mask and the whole thing, and he sweeps April off her feet. Oh, who is the babe? This is the best we've ever seen Casey Jones. There has never been a better Casey Jones. There never will be. I mean, come on, it's Casey Jones. Lead the way, Toots. Toots? Oh, babe? I love Casey Jones, and he probably got to second base with April O'Neil. And Michelangelo probably watched. Mm, I'm in love. I, I didn't grasp the Mutant Ninja Turtles phase. I didn't even collect turtles as a kid. I had rats. If it's four rats fighting, maybe a turtle's teaching them, I'm on board. I'm, I'm not even a fan of pizza. It gives me heartburn. So there's a lot of things going on in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that didn't grab me. <sighs> Like Power Rangers and Dread, there's debate about whether Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles should be on this list. I'm fine with it. Okay, so maybe Ninja Turtles aren't people wearing costumes and fighting evil, but they were once itty bitty turtles and then they got their powers and now they wear masks and they fight. We're good. What's more to superheroes than that? God, I love being a turtle! 
Listen, superhero teams, guys, it's not just the Avengers or the Justice League. There's lots of them. The Ninja Turtles are a classic. I think this movie does belong on this list, but I'm surprised it's in the 40s. I think it should go up in the 30s somewhere. It's actually a really beloved film. Kawabunga. It is still the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie that we have ever had and possibly ever will have. So it could go higher, but I'm not mad that it didn't. I'm fine with that in the lower, in the lower tier. So the last, the, the 40 to 50 range is perfect for the Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, if we're just gonna put Vanilla Ice's theme song from Turtles 2, maybe top five.